All right, team, welcome back to cargo planning. But today we are going to be looking at the calculations. First, we're going to start with new draft and displacement. But we are going to utilize these calculations with vessels such as barges and boxed shaped vessels. So these are vessels that don't have any curvature like the regular ships. So we are going to be focusing on these first as we proceed. Now, density and draft. So there are two ways to find new draft. First, we are going to work with this formula. New draft over old draft is equal to old density over new density. And we will transpose in that formula for new draft, which would be equal to old density times old draft divided by new density. We are going to also look at underwater volume for these box shape and barges, where the underwater volume VU is equal to the length times the beam or the breadth times the draft. Then we will look at the displacement for these vessels, where displacement is the underwater volume VU times the density of the water that the vessel is in. So displacement, in other words, would be equal to length times beam or breadth times draft times the density. Now, let us look at this density chart. On this chart, at one end of the spectrum, we have freshwater density, which is equal to 1.000 tons per cubic meters. On the other end of the spectrum, we have saltwater density, which is equal to 1.025 tons per cubic meters. Again, in between, we have brackish water, which is found in, in natural environment that has more salinity than fresh water, but not as much as salt water. We also have dock water, which exists at each and every port. Overall, we call all of these, as it relates to water, relative density. The difference is because fresh and salt are specific, but everything else that falls in between fresh and salt, we relate to them primarily as relative density. Now this range from 1.001 .001 tons per cubic meters to 1.024 tons per cubic meters. We will be using this concept in calculations going forward. So let us look at this question with the relative density and the new draft. The question reads, a barge is floating in fresh water. It has length 140 meters, beam 55 meters, and draft 5.2 meters. Find its displacement in fresh water and its new draft if it moves into water with relative density 1.015 tons per cubic meters. In this calculation, we'll be using two decimal places. Now let us look at the solution. Using the underwater volume formula, length times beam or breadth times draft, we will solve for the volume of the vessel, which would be 140 times 55 times 5.2, which would give us 40,040 cubic meters. 
Then, using the freshwater density, we calculate displacement. As we know, it is floating in fresh water where fresh water's density is 1.000 tons per cubic meters. And so the displacement would now be 40,040 tons as the cubic meters in the density would eliminate the cubic meters from the volume. Now, let us plug this in some information to calculate the new draft. Again, new draft is equal to old draft times old density divided by new density. So here we are going to transpose this information and we have old draft being one, which was fresh water. We have old density being one, which was fresh water. And we have 5.2, which was the old draft, divided by the new relative density, which is 1.015. That gives us 5.12 meters. So, as you can see, the draft would decrease because the water density, it's moving from fresh, which is 1, to a denser water, which is 1.015. And that means the vessel will be coming out of the water, so the draft would definitely be less than what it initially was. Now, look at another question. Whether you have a draft increase or a draft decrease, there are two simple ways of solving this. We have the meticulous way or the short or straightforward way. We are going to do both. Now, we have this question. A box-shaped vessel is floating in salt water it is 43 meters long, 8 meters wide, and has a light draft of 0 0.67 meters. How many tons of cargo must be loaded to increase the draft to 2.8 meters? Again, we are using two decimal places. So, let's start with the meticulous way. Meticulous way, we are going to find the underwater volume at light draft, which is equal to 43 times 8 times 0 0.67, which gives us 230.48 cubic meters. We can work out now the displacement in the light draft, which is equal to 230.4, which is the underwater volume, times the density, which is 1.025 salt water. And that gives us 236.24 tons. Next, we will look at the underwater volume at the load draft, which is 43 times 8 times 2.8 that gives us 963.2 cubic meters again we find the displacement in load draft which is equal to 963.2 times 1.025 that gives us 987.28 now, the cargo to be loaded is the difference between the load draft, which is the greater, and the light draft. So now, cargo to be loaded is 987.28 minus 236.24, which gives us 751.04 tons. This is the meticulous way. Now let us look at the straightforward or short 
method. First thing we do is find the difference between both draft. Difference between light and low draft would be equal to 2.8 minus 0 0.67. That gives us 2.13 meters. We would then put that into the formula, directly into the displacement formula, which is 43 times 8 times 2.13 times 1.025. And that gives us 751.04 tons. Now, in, in this, it all depends on you. It all depends on what makes you comfortable. I would, I would, I would implore you not to utilize or do anything that might be uncomfortable to you when you're doing this calculation. It is very easy for you to make simple mistakes. So, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Looking forward to your usual support. Thank you and stay tuned for the follow-up calculations of cargo planning. Stay blessed.